future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, a matchup of teams at opposite ends of the division between the Omaha Storm Chasers and the Iowa and now, Cubs. Welcome We've got baseball on the show, Iowa and it's coming up Cubs. next. Zach Brown will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You He's can out. go in and out. Ow. Ow. So now here is Eddie that James is looking to put them ahead early with this at-bat. First pitch of the A.B. now. Line drive, on, that's a base hard. hit into the, the right center field on. gap. Long throw to the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. There he goes. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. They're showing they're not afraid to be aggressive on the base pass. So... So now to the plate, Eddie James, he singled in his first A.B. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Here's the first pitch to him. A one pitch on its way. Rounded to third. This could be two. Arroyo brings it in. Run it out, run it out, run it out. To complete the double play. Stepping up is Jason Guzman. Flew out last time up. Popped up. Up, up. James is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Digging in will be Jimmy Govern, grounded out in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at-bat right here. The double play is in order. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one... Hey, here we go, big guy. Wait for yours. Next, here is Eddie James as the switch hitter will bat right-handed here. Now the first pitch. And here's the ball get out off, towards get straight off, away the center ball. field. Davis is there now, and he has it to gone. Now to bat, Eddie James. He flew out in his last A.B. First offering on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Hold on, He's hold right it right there. there. Throw in Got time, it. and the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors in a man. Next to stand in is Jimmy Govern. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he won. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end of the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Christian Arroyo. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect. But getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. A 6-0 shutout oh, to finish oh, off tonight's game. Oh, the Iowa Cubs, Iowa Cubs jumped out to an early... Triple A is only a step away now. I get it. Triple A, he's done a nice, boy, 
I never thought I'd see this. I'll be the first to admit. I thought well, this was a, a wasted experiment. I'll be the first to admit it, and he's done a nice job here. He's not that he's playing against former major leaguers in some scenarios. I grant you. Good job. Excellent. Boy, I maybe I hope I'm wrong. I got more to see. I want to see it in the major league level for a period of time, and that's a long way off, but he's only a step away. That's a good sign. Welcome back to tonight's minor league pregame show. As we close in on AAA East action, let's have a look at our Bowman prospect spotlight. Eddie James comes into this one with hits in each of his last 10 games. What do you think is contributing to his recent success, and what do you think about his chances of extending his streak in this one? Yeah, Matty, consistent hitting mechanics, a great eye, feel for the barrel right there, Matty V. I actually think it's going to continue. This guy looks so calm in the box, I don't see that he doesn't get a knock today. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. Minor League Baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Iowa Cubs and the Omaha Storm Chasers. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Jackson Kowar is on the mound for game two. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, this guy keeps his team in the ball game. He's won two of his last three starts, so he's been throwing the ball really well. And one of the keys for this guy is getting early outs to keep his pitch count down. If he can do that, he should be able to get into the seventh or eighth inning in this one here today. Fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening. They come in off a good victory last time out, but one that was just their second win in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, this place is buzzing right now. This team won the opener of the series yesterday, and they're looking to step on this team's throat and take the first two games of this series. Hermosillo is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number to the plate now is the designated hitter, designated Eddie hitter. James. Right Runner in scoring position with two gone. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. Gutierrez is on his way home. Safe at the plate. As it's now a 2-0 ball game. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. Next, it'll be Eddie James. A hit in two tries so far. Here's the first pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Blanco will range to his left as he tracks this one down. Digging in, the switch hitter, Eddie James, flew out last time up. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus, stuff diving all over the place. Man, that's what you would call an efficient outing. One pitch, and he gets the save. He doesn't get paid by the pitch, so he just figured he'd end it quickly and hit the showers. Good call. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Omaha Storm Chasers used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Jackson Kowar earned his fifth win of the year. Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Iowa Cubs and the Omaha Storm Chasers. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next.
Christopher Bernier will do the pitching in game three of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. So guys are visitors as they take the field following a scoreless top half. They come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Hey, Matty, yeah, it's been a tough series so far, d -Roll. They've lost the first two. Two nail biters, two close games, low scoring games. They'd like to turn that fortune around here today. Yeah, but from a manager's perspective, Dan, all you can ask for is effort, and that's what this team's given them. They took it on the chin, first two games, one run losses. They'll bounce back today. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Dero, what's the word on this lineup as they go for the series sweep? Yeah, Matty, every person that bought a ticket tonight came to see one thing, and that's the guy on the mound. But I'll tell you what, from an offensive standpoint, this is what you live for. Who's going to make the adjustments offensively to put quality at bats against this guy? Do they have to get him early? Can someone work themselves into a big count to drive the ball in the gap late? I am so fired up to see this offense take on this monster. Swing and a miss for strike one. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Ball. Just sometimes you have bad bat Two barrel accuracy. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Into the box, Anderson Miller. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 261, the average coming into action here. Two home runs and 23 driven in. Boy, this is one of those ABs. You're like, oh. swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. Now at the plate, here is Jason Guzman. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. First pitch of the AB now. Guzman. 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. After falling down 0-2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Struck him out. Just flat out froze him there. Nothing too deceptive about that four-seam fastball, so I think he wasn't expecting it at all. At the plate now, Jimmy Govern. His three will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Still plenty to be desired in terms of batting average down in the 180s entering play. Three homers and 19 driven in. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Here we go, boys. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Christian Arroyo. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Arroyo. Here's the pitch. Hey. Into the windup, and here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouled off. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and, and now it'll go. be the catcher, the Alex Avila. A strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing and one. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Michael Hermosillo. One for one with a single so far. This is in the air out to right field. Rodriguez is there. Two down. A 
And now, Brennan Davis now flew batting. out in his Center only at-bat so far. Hit back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. As a batter right there, that's exactly the pitch your eyes light up on. You know he's known for a nasty split finger, but he left that one thigh high, and the batter did exactly what he's supposed to. 0 for 1 here in the early going. I got the count. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. The next 0 2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One hit, one left. On now to the top of inning number four. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, and Nick Preto, set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. He starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. One ball, he has to get through strikes, four, five, and six right here. Here comes the one, two. Ball, two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch. Full, full count now, three and two. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Now Stepping in now, Anderson Miller. Oh, and won the count. Miller. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. Jason Guzman will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, down in the count 0-2, I'd like to see a little choke and poke nope. right here. Ball Maybe one. work it up the middle or opposite field with two strikes. Two. Fouled away. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Ball. Misses. Ball two. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. On to the top of inning number five we go. And we are tied nothing nothing. Now to the plate, Jimmy Govern. As we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Hit high and deep out to left center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So the next to bat will be Christian Arroyo. Now 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In there for strike 1, 0 and 1. The difference between 0 1 and 1 0 is so monumental, and this guy has been on top of his game all day, attacking the zone and getting ahead of these hitters. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Here's the catcher, Alex Avila, comes into now this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Avila. Fastball just off the inside corner. Count 1 0. Oh. Two out, nobody on. 2 0 oh now. Two no the rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat. This guy's been really patient. Now he's in the driver's seat, sitting with the 2-0 -oh count. 3-0 to him now. Hey. Curve ball, and he'll just watch this one. 3-1. And, one. Hey. and it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five. Uh, we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Five innings complete. The I-Cubs are out in front, four to nothing.
So the batting order turns over now and set to go and Michael Hermosillo. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Masio is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Next, it'll be Brennan Davis. A now fly down. out and a Better single for him so far. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush Number tactics, 51. not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that nope, bullpen, but sometimes, desperate times, call for desperate measures. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. And it's fouled away. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three now times back. already the today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really he's tough dead. time picking him up. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's out. There is a base open here, so the option to work around him is there if they want to go that route. Now a little soft liner foul over to the right side, and the count will move to one and two now. And he fouls this one off. Again, a one-two. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Rex Brothers gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 48. Rex Brothers. One run finish today, five to four, the final score. The Storm Chasers crossed the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Grant Gavin gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. First, for the victorious Omaha Storm Chasers.